Hey, how's it going? I am in Olympia at the Capitol Mall. This mall was built in... The original mall was built in 1977, but... Uh, been a number of expansions since then. This mall started with four anchors, the Bon Marche, J.C. Penney, Frederick and & Nelson, and Lamonts. What I'm going to first go for, though, is some food over at Charlie's. I must say the, the flooring here is quite impressive. I don't know how I feel about the orangish part, but... Uh, I mean, when you just look at this floor, it's... it's uh, yeah, they, they put a lot into that, so... I'm not sure how I feel about the patchwork element of it, but... I think this section was added in, was it 2002 or something? Not a huge uh, food court, but it's, uh, uh, but it's here and I'm gonna have a Charlie's because they're great. Yeah, that was in uh, 2002. Westfield bought the mall in 1998 and they spent like 50 million to expand and renovate it and uh, in 2002 the Lamonts was changed into this food court and uh, and as you see the Best Buy so Now, I first went to this mall in 2004. I'm not sure if I remember this flooring, but it might have been there. Now, I'm, I haven't seen any pictures of what this place looked like before the renovations. I mean, this, this ceiling work does not remind me of, uh, of 1977, so... Now, interesting that this Hollister still has this, uh, this fake front on it. <laughs> yeah, the, the materials they used for the floor is cool, but I don't know how I feel about this sort of random patchwork that it is, but... Tokyo anime, huh? See, even, even these skylights are, are different than what you normally see. It, it doesn't make me think of 1977. And that's an unusual front for a Macy's, which was originally the Vaughn. If you go this way... Well, I say Old Navy there, but... Uh, this heads over to the theater. Yeah, I'm pleasantly surprised to see that most of the businesses are still going. They haven't, not too many vacancies, so. That's good. Century Theaters. Wonder what that was on the left, the uh, with the dark, 
Yeah, I wonder what restaurant that was. In 1991, there was a roof fire at this mall that cost like three million to fix. In 1992, Mervyn's took over Frederick and Nelson. Zoom in is, zoom, zoom eyes have a really consistent set of storefronts, don't they? But yeah, Westfield had bought this mall in 1998 and they changed the name to Westfield Shopping Town Capital. Yes, Shopping Town. Really stupid sounding, but. They changed, they, they dropped the shopping town part in 2005. In 2013, this mall was bought by Starwood Capital Group. And then December of last year, it was bought by Pacific Retail. Yeah, I had to find out who who owned this now, because, uh, I mean, for sure, because the Wikipedia page is incomplete. So yeah, it was mall management that told me about them being bought in, uh, in December, so. Now that is an interesting storefront. Huh. Neat. Didn't want to go in there. Someone was kind of giving me the, the evil eye. I'm like, yeah, I don't want a chance with that. So they could, they could call security or something and say, hey, there's this guy filming, right? So. Mervyn's closed in 2006, and its place was, uh, in, in 2010, was, uh, for, they, they split it into several places, so they, it became, you know, part of it became Forever 21 in 2010, August, REI in May 2011, and Total Wine and More in July of 2013. Interesting. Then uh, Forever 21 closed in September of 2018. And I'm glad to see that it's it's happening there there's a number of people here I mean it's a weekend but Zumais, 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 what's the right pronunciation of that place Looks like there, there's going to be an arcade, but uh, yeah, 
Yeah, I just passed by Claire's and I was thinking about how that was uh, when I had my ear pierced. That was where I had it done. They used that little piercing gun and it didn't heal very well because that's not the best way to pierce. interesting seeing the mix of the people that are wearing masks versus the ones that are not. Now I wanted to see this for myself. This is like a strange looking entrance to Dick's Sporting Goods. It's like you got this weird hallway before you actually get to the, the store itself. And I got the nature kind of pictures on the sides, but... Oh, that's not very attractive looking, is it? Are they going to fix that? That's pretty, uh, <laughs> that's pretty awful looking. Wow, didn't expect that. Still just tripping at what they did on the ceiling. Surprised they did that. I'm just really surprised they left it like that. Yeah, we can see a few clothes stores over here. There are a few others, but not as bad as I thought it would be. I find curious this, uh, this signage for JCPenney. That's, it's the same as the one that they had in, uh, Oh, what was the name of that one that I had to travel so far? It, it's similar to that one. So it's like a sign that's from uh, circa, I don't know, 86, 88. B Natural Nails and Spa. Huh. Yeah. Artificial nails are anything but natural, but you know. Why be sharp? Be natural. Game stop, huh? Yeah, I just don't think I've ever seen a, a front end to uh, Dick's that was like that, you know? <laughs> One of the particular things about this is the way that they... they that the pattern that they use is, is pretty neat. The same with this, uh, with this gray. They did the kind of the same thing with that. Just, it's just an interesting mix. I just wish they wouldn't have, like, patched it together like, like a quilt, you know? I think it should have been more... I don't know, certain things on the edges or something. I don't know, but... I guess that's about it. Small is, uh, a little smaller than I thought, but, uh... You know, some people 
tell me that, uh, oh yeah, and by the way, Dix was opened in 2016, but uh, a lot of people are like, hey, these videos aren't very interesting. Well, they're, they're not really that interesting. They're mainly just trying to archive, you know, have somewhere in the archives these malls, because in like five or so years, they're not going to be they're really not going to be much of a thing. There's going to be tons of malls closing down. So, anyway. Oops. Oh, thanks. Have a great day. So, so there we go. So, buttons on your shoe. Um, I guess I should end the video. Have a nice day.